Second weekend of SEC softball from Gainesville, Florida. Whenever Kentucky and Florida get together in any sport, it is a great old school SEC rivalry. Tonight, they kick off a three game series on the softball diamond from Rainey. Katie. Gatorade National Player of the Year in high school, Keegan Rothrock. And she strikes out Smith up and away, back to back whiffs. And if you didn't know what Keegan Rothrock was. She was going to get a little bit something better to hit. And 3 2, she will go down looking. Just the third time Aaron Koffel has struck out this season. To me, Rose Hutchins. Back to back full counts and back to back strike counts. Her speed a little bit more, putting the ball in the dirt, using her legs. Down she goes here, though, and it's four strikeouts to start the game as Jaden Vickers opens. Except for the drop ball. Wallace drills this one into right field. That ball cracked to the wall on a hop. Hit so hard that only a mere mortal wouldn't be able to turn that into a double. Skyler Wallace with in the country. And with a very young Florida staff, too. Wallace with the lead at second. Another strikeout for Vickers at two in the opening inning. Falby and Erickson both go down. Driven. Trying to find the tendencies here in Vickers. And she'll bounce one to the right side and through. That's under the glove of the second baseman, Margaret Tobias. And on the 10th pitch, Corby Otis wins the battle. And the Gators draw first blood out at bat for Corby Otis, especially after two strikeouts in this inning off of Vickers. Otis was determined to not go down striking out, puts the ball in play, finds a hole up the middle. And if you're Margaret Tobias, the second baseman for Kentucky, you have to do whatever it takes to try to keep that ball in the dirt because Vickers has done a nice job in this inning against a challenging lineup. Third straight full count, a base hit, yanked through the right side by Kistler. Otis with two outs gets to third. And Katie Kistler keeps the Gator line moving. Thing for Vickers, catch your breath, kind of restart. Walsh left field, that ball hit on a line right at Riley Smith. And so the Gators strand a pair, but get a run. It's 1-0 Florida in a series opener. So regional to Stanford. And a seven in the SEC. 3-2 from Plotts in the left field. Peyton Plotts. The first Kentucky batter not to strike out, and the first Wildcat single. Some power in the five spot. Eight home runs for Grace Lorsung, the Wildcat senior. And a big swing on the first pitch will stay on the infield. The shortstop, Skyler Wallace. Task. There's a throw to second base. A pinch runner, Donaldson, with a stolen base attempt. And she is cut down by the all-world catcher, Erickson. Wow. Of her framing abilities, she does it so big back behind the plate. And she'll hang on to strike three against Hamilton. Fourth strikeout for Rothrock. Looking at first base today. And Brown demolishes one to left field. That ball is a gapper. Up against the wall near the World Series appearances. Now with Ava Brown at the plate in the circle, Florida might just make it back there. A leadoff double for the freshman. Impactful. Freshman Kowalewski will swing through. Jaden Vickers, third strike pitch for her. That pitch a little bit off the plate. That pitch is breaking. Mia Williams, first pitch swinging. And a foul ground for Grace Lorsung at out number two. Scarlet Knights, ERA was in the fives in her career. Falby on the ground, a shortstop. She's got electric speed, but Koffel throws her out all the same. Cleanly done by the tremendous senior shortstop, Aaron Koffel, in a scoreless second. Can make an impact on a game defensively. Eight pitch to Blanton, and a ground ball right through that drawn in infield. Respect the speed of Blanton, play in, and batters. Rothrock for Tobias, 3-2. And that is only the second walk of the season for Margaret Tobias, who waits out Keegan Rothrock. Big bunter. 
And she will square here, right back toward the circle. It's played by the third baseman, Kalaluski, who throws it away into right field. And Kentucky ties the game. Blanton scores from second. Tobias goes to third. A rare miscue on the Florida infield, and this game is 1-1. And it just seemed like it took Mia Williams a long time to get there. You see she's actually taking a couple of steps towards second base, and then as soon as she sees the bunt put down, she has to shift all of her momentum to go cover first on the bunt, and really defensively. Smith right back to the circle. Rothrock looks at third, gets the out at first. Well handled by the freshman Rothrock. 100 because of all the walks. And here comes number 10. Aaron Koffel intentionally walked. Right here. It looks like a mistake. I'm swinging big. Hutchins swings big. Hits it through the left side and gives Kentucky the lead with a run scoring single. They call her Clutch Hutch in Lexington. She delivers with a third inning hit to put the Wildcats on top. Now the softball team's given up a couple. Base is loaded and a called third strike as Rothrock throws a knee buckler to get plots looking. That's down in the zone. That is a called third strike. So Rothrock strands three. Kentucky scores two, an action-packed third has the Cats on top. The coaches and training staff members walk off the field under his own power. Scott Wallace, every ball that comes off her bat seems harder than the last one. The backstop and one of the best defenders in the country and sits right there in the three spot in the order. Wallace going again, this pitch is up and away. Jocelyn Erickson has the first Florida walk. And the Gators have the first two on in the third. The 60th pitch. Otis drills it up the middle. A base hit for Otis. Wallace will round third and come in standing. Two at-bats and two run-scoring singles for Corby Otis. And then Corby Otis has now driven her in twice in this game. And let her go down and get this pitch. Changes her posture to be able to get her barrel down to that pitch. Not a bad pitch by Vickers, but just a good swing by Otis, who had mixed in a changeup, would just be so important right about now. The 3 2 is high. Kistler, second walk of the inning. Gators load the bases. A run in already. Well, at second base, it will maybe make a slightly easier non conference schedule. Reagan Walls in the left center field, and Reagan Walls out of left center field. The junior Walls breaks this game open in the third with a grand slam. And the Gators hit their second slam in three days. And this swing is by Reagan Walls. She just unleashes thinking that she's got to get the inner half. She did, she is on time, gets her barrel there. It's about belt high. This is a player that hit eight home runs all of last season, and now she already has 11. The six hole hitter for Florida with the 31 games. That is not bad for a six hitter. Ava Brown now. Off the end of her bat, and there's the first out. Sure is an upperclassman who has expectations. Kalaluski in the right field. Kalabunga. Two home runs in the inning, and the Gators are destroying Jordan Vickers here in the third. It is seven to two on the freshman's fourth home run of the season. That'll be the end for Jade Vickers, Amanda, after this swing left on left. Another mistake, another hitter's count for Florida that they take advantage of. Their patience is really paying off one through nine. What a big bottom of the third inning for Florida. And Williams elevates a high pitch to center field. Mia Williams leads the building.
The freshman hitting just 163. Torpedoes her second home run in college. Done their homework on these pitchers. Remember, Mia Williams is the first hitter that Langdon is facing, but they know the scouting report is going to be up in the zone with the rise ball. She gets her barrel there. She is anticipating a pitch that has upspin. She gets it. She does the elbow pump, getting down to first base. Three home runs in this inning for the Gators. 8-2 Gators, seven in the third. Here's Falby. Ninth batter of the inning for Florida. And Kendra Falby is out at first. Though you can see. To me, these plays at first base just seem to be the most difficult to overturn. So as much as it does look like she's safe. With, with they look, angle that one, and there it is. And what they look for, too. Falby, elite runner at first. And Wallace is plunked. Shake out the right arm as Skyler Wallace reaches base for the third time. The 11th batter of the inning. And a tight take, ball four. Her second walk of the inning. This is full of Gators. Otis, ground ball. Through the left side, another base hit. Falby is in the ball, bobbled out left by Smith. That allows Wallace to score without a throw. It's 10 to 2, Florida. CC, fourth most in her lineup. Chance for one here, and that's a line drive to Coffield at short, who does get the out at second. That officially ends a one hour long third inning. Going into the bottom of the third, Carissa Hamilton on a 1 0 pitch against Keegan Rothrock will fly out to Falby in center. Well, and you never know how a freshman is going to respond after a long... You're six outs away from winning, and you don't want Kentucky to get back into this game. Right back to Rothrock. Squirrels under her legs. And Blanton is safe at first without a throw. Mom giving pitching lessons, but also working with other people as well. Left side, knocked down to third by Kowalewski. No play at first. By the way, there, there is a pitch clock in the SEC this year. Can you imagine we didn't have that? Oh, that ball, that could be an issue right there with the base runner Blanton crossing in front of the shortstop Wallace. It's, here's number 92. Smith puts it in play on the infield. Rothrock gets out of it, maintains the eight-run lead. It strands a pair. Gator offense back to the bats with Walsh when we return. Three and one in the SEC, 27 and four overall. And Walsh unloading on another ball. This one playable and right for Plotz. Two count here. Ava Brown right side. That ball hangs up for Plotz as well. 2008 at the World Series. 61 home runs, three-time All-American. What an addition to the Florida staff. Strike three, Lakatena gets Kowalewski looking. Who's off in there, one swinger. 13th in the country in a home run. This is a ground ball to short. Wallace, a deep pick in the throw to first for the out. Great angle she took on that ground ball. Her footwork. Right field, this is Katie Kissler. And that could be the penultimate out. Almost unstrikeoutable Koffel and Hutchins in order in the first. A 1-2. Will end the game on a strikeout. It begins and ends with a K. Appropriately so for Keegan Rothrock. Florida wins its 22nd game of the year by run rule. It's 27th overall. And the Gators chop down Kentucky 10 to 2 in the series opener. And I thought that Florida's offense really flexed their power. Five extra base hits.